Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Digi Republic. Today's episode is all about quotes, quotes, quotes. Before we begin, let me ask you a question. Has a quote ever changed your life? Has a quote ever made a positive impact on your life in the long term? I'm not speaking about when you go on Instagram and you see a quote and you get this temporary emotional spike. You feel good about yourself for 10 seconds or 20 seconds but then your life is exactly the same. That's what I'm addressing in today's episode. In my life, I can think of three different quotes that have made a big, big impact on my thinking and my entire outlook on the world. And I'm going to be sharing them in this video, so stay tuned. Without further ado, one of my favorite quotes of all time is this. Our greatest adventures are not behind us. Now, for me to explain why this is such a great quote, especially in my life, I have to give you some context, some background story. Growing up, I was a very positive, optimistic child. I had all this ambition and all these expectations for my future. Now, as with everyone else, after a while, as you age and reach adulthood, you run into obstacles and your view of the world becomes a little less rosy. Now, obstacles are inevitable and part of life is persisting and finding a way to get past these obstacles. I was still ambitious, I was still trying to achieve things, but I just felt that some of the fun in making these attempts, trying to go to places, trying to execute projects, some of that fun was gone. But the main problem was, I think I just, accepted that it had to be that way, that your best years are the first decades of your life. And after that, things start to slow down. You don't do things that are so interesting and you don't easily achieve these great big goals any longer. So here's the interesting thing about quotes. Statistically, you can prove that something is one way or the other. Someone could have shown me statistics showing that entrepreneurs or adventurers, people achieving things in any field, do so well into their 30s, 40s, and 50s. But stats are one thing. Seeing just one simple quote, that's a completely different thing entirely. Quotes are not necessarily logical. They're more emotional and they just grab you from the heart. So for me, seeing this quote, our greatest adventures are not behind us. That just really changed my mindset into believing again that, look, if you still want to do great things, if you still want to do fun things, if you still want to do adventurous things, it is up to you and your perspective. It's not determined by your age. You can always achieve something new. You can always try new things. I think in these past few years where the whole world has been rocked by all these different disasters and crises, uh, pandemics, uh, fire in different continents and countries, political upheaval, um, social movements, all these things going on. It's easy to look at the world and think, oh man, I miss the good old days where everything was a bit more innocent. But I think you need to get past that. You need to see that there are still many great things to come. There are still many great things happening. And it just depends on where you put your focus. Quote number two for me is this. It is better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Now, this one is a very, very personal one for me. Uh, I think there are many of us out there who want to do things with our lives that are different to the expectations of our society or of our friends and family. Some people want to be musicians and maybe, for example, that's not something that would be culturally accepted in their country or in the place that they find themselves. For me, I think if you have big goals in your life that you are passionate about, things that you actually want to achieve, well, if you have to ask people for permission every step of the way, most likely you're not going to get to your end result. Most likely somebody is going to stop you at some point. You're going to lose your determination. You're going to lose your focus and your motivation to get this thing done. Sometimes you need to just start. And after you start and the people around you see how passionate you are about these things, then they give you their support. And even if they don't, then hey, at least you succeed and you're happy for yourself. 
if you look at the world of startups, there are so many big companies these days like Airbnb and Uber and so many others who changed industries or created industries where there were no rules, there was no regulation, and they did not necessarily go to beg the government and say, hey, we're trying to create this thing. Uh, what are the rules we should follow? They just started and eventually the government comes in and they have to obey whatever rules the government puts in place. But asking for permission every step of the way can slow you down. Now, I'm not advising anyone to break the law. I think this is more of a cultural and emotional thing. As long as you believe in what you're doing and it does not harm anyone, I think the right thing to do is to go ahead and prove to them why there is value in your pursuit and the things that you're trying to get done. So bringing this back to me again personally, the things that this quote pushed me to do were to just leave the country that I had been based in for so long and just experiment, visit other places. And that's eventually how I came to live in Spain and also to leave a career that I had been working in for so long as well and try new things on the internet in different ventures. All of these things definitely changed my life because otherwise I would still be back in London working in finance, but I'm not doing that right now. I'm having fun speaking to all of you on the internet. So I think this quote definitely helped me in a big way. Now, my third quote is one that people say Frank Sinatra actually said, and this is the greatest revenge is massive success. Now, we live in a society where people are quite sensitive these days and they might think revenge is something evil. But obviously for this quote, it just means that you have succeeded and you have gotten past all the put downs and all the disappointments and all the lack of belief that people had in you. The way this quote helped me is actually related to everything I just said before, which is I tried to make these big moves to change my life, moving to a new country, changing my career. And these things are tricky things to do. You're going to run up into obstacles again. Things are not going to work out your way. And there are many people who are used to you living your life in a certain way. There are people I worked with who were thinking, why are you going to a different country? Why are you learning a new language? Why are you trying to launch this new career? What this quote and many similar quotes helped me to do was to not give up. When you're in a new country and you have to register things legally and you have to work in a different way, it can be difficult. But when I see these quotes, I just think there's no way I'm going to go back to how things were. I'm going to see this through. So for me, it's linked to the second quote in that I just kept going after making those big changes in the first place. So those are three big quotes which changed my life for the better. What are quotes that have impacted you in your own lives? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.